Untie her. <laughs> afternoon guys it is Monday the 29th of August and it's actually really really sunny right now in London this morning was pretty chill woke up at like 7 30 which um, is quite early and then decided to go for a walk with my friend and their dog Mentaiko and pretty much just kind of had a really nice stroll around the park um, it was really nice and just kind of a big space and after that we actually went to grab um, Pakistani kind of breakfast and it was really yum it was like kind of like a bread or puff thingy and you just had like different curries to kind of dip it in that was really nice and I really enjoyed it and it was really great to just have different varieties of foods and try out different things and like I'm definitely keen on like trying things that we don't have here don't have as much in Melbourne um, so that was really really yummy and I really enjoyed it it was a bit on the oily side but overall it was quite fun right now it is the afternoon I am just going to head towards central London just to go shopping and like browse the shops and stuff um, I just really want to shop and so just going to the Oxford Circus area which is more like the central that's one of the main shopping strips that people go for shops and there's just so many shops around there so meeting up with Mark right now um, and excited because tonight we are going to Four Seasons for dinner in Chinatown and I just absolutely love their duck so much I don't know why I think it's something they put in the sauce but I love it a lot, I'm really excited and obviously we can order a few different dishes. So I am at New Bond Street with Mark. Hi, it's my everyday life. As you may know, he was, well, I kind of introduced before, but he was on MasterChef before. But actually, we met when we studied at London College of Fashion together. And uh, we just lived in the same dorm accommodation, and that's how we became friends. So right now, we are at New Bond Street. This is New Bond Street. It's probably like one of the most poshest streets in London, for shopping especially. Um, but we're going to Chanel because I want to just have a browse and like see what there is and fun fact is that this place was also my first job like post-graduation Chanel was like the place where I worked um, as cleaner or? yeah as a, <laughs> as a cleaner um, but Chanel was my first post-graduation full-time job I had done a couple of like retail part-time jobs in the past um, but this is my first full-time job and it was really good because when I worked there they were just opening this new Bond Street boutique which is the one that we're going to right now um, so I got to be involved in like the events and everything and like you know packing all the goodie bags and stuff which was really quite fun because uh, I was in the marketing team but it was just really fun kind of like helping open this boutique up and it's the kind of like main flagship one for London. So this here is the new Bond Street boutique and this is where I started my first job. Um, the head office is actually uh, behind and on top but it's a really really nice boutique up in here you have a few floors and then a VIP level as well um, and then you have head office behind so yeah this was my first term for a few years absolutely love Muji um, and I don't think we have food choices in Australia so it's really cool
favorite shop for homeware all time. I really want everything in anthropology. So I'm so happy to be here. And look, they have extra 40% off. God, it's like so wow it's very heavy <laughs> oh my god Today we went to Burger and Lobster for lunch and we got the shared platter which meant that we got a bit of everything. I have loved coming to Burger and Lobster for years. I love their lobster roll, their lobster and I mean the burger is just like a meat burger but it is one of my favourite go to and definitely a must when you're visiting London. In the afternoon I went to watch a play called Come From Away and after that I headed off to Southwark for dinner with some of my Hong Kong workmates. It was really nice being able to catch up with people that you'd worked with together and kind of see them in a different country. They've both um, kind of settled in London now, but yeah, it was really enjoyable just catching up about old days and seeing what we were up to now. Today for lunch we went to a Sri Lankan restaurant called Hoppers in Soho and this food was so good, like it felt really authentic. This is bone marrow curry and it was so yummy, like the flavours were so insane. We really enjoyed our meal here and there's definitely a lot of other things to try, so definitely would recommend coming to Hoppers in Soho. <music> After lunch, I headed off to watch another musical, which today was Jersey Boys. And I've wanted to watch Jersey Boys for ages, but never just have had the chance to. So really glad I got to see it today. And for dinner, we headed off to the Spitalfields area near Shoreditch. So this is Delamina East. And the food is a bit of like Middle Eastern inventive kind of thing. It was really yummy. The fish was amazing. Everything was actually really amazing. Just full of flavor and kind of presented in a way that's quite different to what we normally get back home in Australia. <music> Left of me 